Welcome back. We're the Virgin. Yep. I'm Sean. He's Dan. For I'm you, saying reverse. For those of you who are tired of my antics, we're going to review OKI. Reserve. Cheers. Okay, so today we got a little spillage. Okay, I reserve. And Guys. I'm going to read a little bit percentage-wise to you. Oh, mm. this is, here we go. This should go well. Take a, You guys sit down and get a glass of whiskey before 21% you... rye bourbon mm -hmm. from 2007, 2008, Probably and 2009. Most likely MGP. 36% rye bourbon, 2009, 2014. Most likely MGP. And then we have 95% rye whiskey, 2008. 15% rye corn whiskey, 2008. And light whiskey, 2007. Rye corn whiskey? Is that Canadian? I don't know. It just says rye corn whiskey. <laughs> oh, it doesn't say that's not the light. That's the light whiskey. Yeah, oh. it's a different line. So the 95 is probably MGP. Yeah. The light whiskey is probably MGP, realistically. Yeah. I wonder what that I is. I like that, that there's 0.2% of 36% uh, rye in there. So what's so interesting is... Um, Transparency? Oh, super high. Through the freaking roof on this release, honestly. 100, 100 proof, by the way. 50% ABV. Rye corn whiskey that's Ooh. nine years old. Rye corn whiskey. I got a little lightheaded there. I wonder what that is. I'd love to know what that is. Um, well, it's rye corn whiskey, Dan. I know, but of what? Of course. That being said. I'm very lost right now. We just had a like four minute conversation that didn't make the video about the, the what way high, what, that this is worded. What rye corn whiskey is. If yeah. you know what rye corn whiskey is, leave a comment down below and explain it to us. If you know where these whiskeys are from, obviously some from MGP without a doubt. Yeah. If you know where the other ones are from or if they're all from MGP, let us know. Cause that's, rye corn whiskey. Oh, it says it's distilled in Lawrenceburg. So they're all from MGP then. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yo, MGP, what's your rye corn whiskey? I wonder if that's the barely legal rye, maybe. But it, you'd think they'd 51%. just put 51% yeah. rye on there. Yeah. Huh. Who knows? All right. Back to OKI, blended bourbon whiskey, according to the label. Damn, it smells great. It smells really... So, I do know, uh, I believe that Jason from the Mash and Drum, not the biggest fan. What? We had him on the we last stream. He a, said he oh, didn't yeah. like it. We have such a flip-flop uh, relationship on a lot of bottles. Yeah. This is another one. Um, I know you guys have differing opinions about Blue Run and whatnot, but... That is muted. No, it's not. The, I mean, I thought it was. Spoonful of whiskey makes a medicine go down. That's true, actually. That's true. Not for your kids so much, but more yeah. for you. Uh -huh. Um, This, I uh, legitimately... This it's, smells incredible. It's like a apricot jam on a nice slice of Texas toast. It almost, and, I'm, this, and it's buried in there, right? You're gonna have to really get the nostrils in there. There's a hint of the most perfect mojito mint I've ever smelled. No, I'm already on board with that, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, if you get actually towards the top, it yeah. comes out more. The the bottom, like I get a lot of the, the sweet oak. Uh, there, It's definitely very spicy. That rye adds a lot of complexity to it. Dan's apparently very much in love. This look is going to be one of my whiskeys of the year. Look at the legs on this. Dude, this is going to be one of my whiskeys of the year. I. It's so... I know listen. it never comes through because you just tried to do this the other day on a Friday. You yeah. can't see it. Yeah. But like the legs on that are actually ridiculous. I mean, the dude, the color. Oh my gosh. The color on this whiskey is absolutely mm. insane. So Sean and I actually talked about this bottle back when I think on our first... Um, Oh my list of like whiskeys that are going to come out this year that, uh, in 2020. Yeah, we were excited about it. We talked about this and I was super interested in uh -huh. it just because actually the interest came from a different project Sean and I are working on just because of the blend of these products, right? Everything that's in there. Yeah. Well, at the time, we had no idea on age statements or anything. We just knew that it was a, definitely a burr and it come had light out, whiskey in it. They've got really old stocks. Yeah, come <laughs> find out. Okay, I'm not fucking um, around. So. Dude, the, how well this drinks is insane to me. It's got the most heavy caramel on like... Okay, so... 100 proof. We, we learned at Old Forester, if you put your nose at the top of the glass yeah. and you smell something, and then you put your nose at the bottom of the glass, different. you smell different stuff, which is actually hyper accurate. It really does. If you try it at home, it really does make a difference. If you put your nose on the bottom of the glass, mm. it smells like this really thick, sugary, homemade caramel. Oh, I was thinking sugar cookie, like a nice homemade sugar cookie. Drizzle it's with got, caramel. Uh, caramel, but it's got like a nice fruit jam on there. This is a meal. Have you ever had? Oh my gosh, the if the finish like is that, like so like spicy and delicious though. Yeah, if I'd love to know what people don't like about this whiskey if they don't like it, like which part of it? Because I think that now maybe they don't like it because of burai because it does have that minty 
herbal aspect on the back of the palette from a the right. A light amount. Right. But if you like Four Roses, you would like this. I think this, yeah, and I think this slaps the shit out of most Four Roses products. I mean, Mind you, this LEs. is an 85-ish dollar bottle. If you got a nice LE. Yeah, okay. That's that's about the realm you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, this is this was around 85. Um, <laughs> the steel. Now, it is a limited release. Yes, but it but was it still was an online, online retailer. This wasn't in a store for us. My lord. Um, Bourbon Outfitters had these. This is, and now here's, ooh, this makes me interested. It says okay. batch one reserve. Keep going. Oh, we're going to send a batch two out? I hope so. Because I'm in on. That's when they mix all their dick in <laughs> and you just dump it on everyone. Like, listen, <laughs> we wanted the rebuy. Yeah. So we did batch one, killed Hit her. Yeah. Literally, whoever blended this, incredible job. Um, and uh, what's also weird, as you thought of this, the, uh, the spiciness of it mm -hmm. makes it not, I think it's like 110 proof. That does not feel like yeah. 100 proof. I think the rye. Um, I drink it. I'm like, oh, that's 90. That's water. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it goes down. I'm like, oh, it's just so spicy. It's got to be around 110. Not everybody likes burr eyes, which is maybe one of the reasons. You're missing out. You're this, missing out. as a burr like eye with the addition of the light whiskey and rye corn, whatever that is. Um, it's such a good, well done blend. It's 100% worth $85. Mm -hmm. We paid like 100 after shipping and after it was here. I think we paid 100 all said and done. Man. That whiskey for a hundred bucks. It still feels like a, steal. a really great whiskey for a hundred dollars. I, um, I think I, you're gonna be hard pressed to find another hundred dollar whiskey that, that that's that interesting. It's all over the place. There is rye. Here's the thing: if you just hate rye, it probably isn't for you. Yeah, it is herbal. It does have some of that lemony, citrusy, minty <sighs> notes. Not super dilly, but it's balanced so well. Like I think the bourbon really mellows out. Like you get all the bourbon flavor up front, yeah. and then the rye kind of takes over in the finish, mm -hmm. and it, it feels so balanced front yeah. to back. There's no dead spots. It's not flat. It's not spiky. It's really good. It's blended so well. Uh, great. A plus. I'm going A plus. At, 80, mean, at 85. $80? Oh my gosh, dude. At 85, if we rank things based on value by the end of the year, by the end of the year for us, this may be one of the best ones because. I can call this a hundred. I don't even give it. Sure. We will throw Ship, shipping into ship. it. I don't care. We'll we'll call a this a hundred dollar bottle. Yeah. It's still an A plus. I think unless you're getting a B tac yes. at SRP, <laughs> this is gonna be one of yeah. the better values for in us. whiskey this for year us. for yeah. us. For us for sure. It's cool. amazing. Well, Brim Joey, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, do that. We We're close to like hundred K. Help yeah. us out. Cheers. Even if you don't like us, he'll just hit subscribe and then you just mute us. It's fine. Yeah, then just don't check your subscription page after that.